Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano, and I'm back with another little crafty idea. Being that it's Halloween time, I wanted to do something a little bit spooky. Uh, and also I've been working, like in my personal life, just on getting my living room a bit more Disneyland themed, because we didn't really have much as far as decorations goes or anything. So me and my girlfriend decided, hey, let's do it Disneyland themed, it should be pretty fun. Now, I bought a whole bunch of vintage Disneyland posters and they're hung up, but I want to add other little accents, and one of the things that I wanted to start with, because it's Halloween time, of course, is uh, some parts of the Haunted Mansion. And one of my favorite parts of the Haunted Mansion is that little conservatory hallway area where there's all the, uh, you know, the fancy purple wallpaper. There's all these pictures hanging on the wall, and I kind of wanted to recreate that, so I found a neat little way to make my own. See, look, there they are. Oh, they're so creepy. The way I made these was, I was actually at a craft store, Michael's, they're not a sponsor, but whatever, that's where I found them. You can probably find them at like any craft store or a small place. But in their little like bargain cheapo dollar section, I found these tiny little picture frames. I was looking at them like, those are really ornate and they kind of remind me of something you'd see in New Orleans Square or Haunted Mansion, something like that. So I thought these would be perfect, but they weren't in the colors that I wanted. If you look close, you can kind of see that there's some red in there. Uh, this one was purple to begin with, this is purple now. But it's really easy to make. In fact, all you need is some of your favorite paint, which I've got. Um, I did these in black, but I might do them in gold because after looking at the, uh, the actual pictures of the Haunted Mansion, I realized that they were actually gold. You can paint them really whatever color you want, but if you're like a true nerd and you want them super accurate, I guess you go with gold. One of the things that I kind of have to tell you is if you paint them, definitely paint them black first because that gold really shows up way better when it's uh, been painted black first. This one I tried just painting gold originally and it looked like garbage. It did not look good. So what can I say? I'm a foolish mortal. <laughs> Either way, this, so here it is, it's black. Now, and I'm gonna go over it real quick in gold just so you guys can see how much better it looks that way. Uh, so I've got my gold paint already laid out. Again, this was white to begin with, but now I'm just gonna kinda give them a little bit of gold. Yeah, that black is definitely a big help. Cause it kinda lets all those little cracks and crevices shine and kinda stick out a bit more with that gold in the front. And that gold really pops when you do it that way. So definitely paint it black first. Don't try putting just the gold on there. It does not look nearly as, you know, just not nearly as good. And the cool thing is when these are done, you know, people who see them, you can put them on a shelf, you can hang them up on the wall. Uh, but the people who see them be like, whoa, where'd you get those at Disneyland? Or you get those online, Disney store? And now you just tell them, you know what? I made these myself. And for those of you who aren't anywhere near the parks or can't get there often, this is a real easy, cheap way to do your own either Halloween decorations. You, they don't have to be Haunted Mansion, you can even do them for Halloween. All right, that looks pretty good. See, now I've got my four frames. I just need to put four pictures in there and we'll be all set. Now guys, as far as finding your images, what I did is I just went to Google. I searched Haunted Mansion portraits. Um, it's kind of hard, there's a lot of the stretching portraits, which is not what I'm doing this time around. But you can look up, uh, there's like conservatory portraits or wall portraits or hat box ghost. Anything like that, you can go look, find the images, kind of resize them, crop them the way you need to, and print them out, uh, which is all I did. That's literally all I did. In fact, I saved a couple of them, just smaller, really tiny versions of them, and you can find them on my website at dano.net, D-A-N-O.net, uh, where I've already taken, you know, the time to do the work for you. All you have to do is download small ones and just print them out. Now, the ones that I saved are made for frames the same size as I've got, so you may need to tweak them make them bigger, smaller, cut them out, I don't know, you do what you gotta do. But these will only match the ones that are the same size as the frames I got from Michaels. So if you have a Michaels in your area, go loot their cheap dollar bin section, get a bunch of these frames, and then what you can do is you take a, you know, you open up the back of your little picture frame. Now see these I already have cut out, because I already did the work. And you plop it in there, and you've got a creepy ghoul, it's so creepy. But when all, they're all done, you can set them up. You can put them somewhere cool in your house. You can hang them on the walls. And they look pretty awesome. Now, unfortunately for me, these don't hang on the wall very well. But I have an answer to that problem. And that answer happens to be three M strips. Uh, you can usually get a 
package it. Twelve of these things are about three or four bucks. Maybe cheaper if you have a coupon or something. But what they are these little tiny adhesive strips that come right off the wall. So if you want to stick them to the wall, you don't have to put a hole. There's no nail involved or thumbtacks or anything like that. So what you do is you take, there's actually a little side. It tells you the wall side, the little black and white part. It says wall side, so you know that's what's going to go on the wall. Which means this other side with the red is going to go on the back of your picture. Um, so in this one, what I'm doing is I'm just going to place it right there on the back. Bloop, make it nice and smooth. And then when I'm ready to hang it up, all I have to do is remove this little black section here and then stick it right to the wall. Well guys, that just about wraps it up. I hope you had fun making these cool, spooky picture frames with all the Haunted Mansion theming to them. Uh, and it's not just limited to Haunted Mansion, you can really do it with anything. I like them because they're so ornate and it works with Halloween, but also I'm a big Disneyland fan, so why not have some cool little mansion trinkets in my home? I love seeing what you guys create, so be sure to find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all those cool places, and let me know how your creations came out. Be sure to thumbs up the video if you had a good time. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be coming up with a lot more cool, crafty ideas based on not only Disney, but other cool, nerdy things. So be sure to subscribe to the Dano channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later.